Good afternoon. Just a reminder, please silence all electronic devices. And please join me in our novena prayer for life. Eternal Father, source of life, open our hearts to see and desire the beauty of your plan for life and love. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that our love will be generous and self-giving and we may be blessed with joy. Grant us great trust in your mercy. Forgive us for not receiving your gift of life and heal us from the effects of the culture of death. Instill in us and in all people a sense of the sacredness of every human life. Inspire our efforts to protect and care for the most vulnerable, especially women who are pregnant, their unborn children, and the sick and elderly. Strengthen us in the hope that with you nothing is impossible. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who by his cross makes all things new. Amen. Thank you. So just a friendly reminder, you will all remain seated, or excuse me, stay in your pews for communion. If you want to receive, please stand up, and we will be walking down the aisles to distribute communion. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you. We gather today to celebrate the liturgy for the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider is Father Bernard, and assisting is Deacon Mike Willens. If you please now rise.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us all call to acknowledge your failures so that we may prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you probe our mind and our heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you rescue the life of the poor. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you revive the hearts of those who turn to you. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and one day to bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who raves and lengths with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side, denounce, 
let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man, sin entered the world, and through sin, death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that not, will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who would kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. It's the first day of summer. Tomorrow's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Boy, has this year been crazy. How did we get here? It seems like we just got through the end of last year and boom, here we are. So a few years ago, there was a graduation, a real graduation, not like the drive, drive-in graduations we had this year. And it was a kindergarten graduation. And after the ceremony, the children were very anxious to go back to the classroom with their teacher because they had made handprints as a gift for their parents. And they had wrapped them in tissue paper and they had bows on them. And they were just so proud of these. And one little boy, he grabbed it and he was trying to carry it and trying to run and trying to wave at his parents at the same time and he slipped, and it went flying out of his hands. Well, when it hit the tile floor, there was the unmistakable crashing, crackling sound of the hand breaking. At first, he was stunned, just silent, and then he started to cry. He was so upset, and his father came to console him, and he said, it's okay, it's okay, it, it, it doesn't matter. And he's kind of patting him, and he said, it's, it, it'll be all right. Mom, being just a little wiser in such situations, she came up, and she knelt down, and she swept the boy up in her arms, and she said, it does matter. It matters a lot. And she wept with him. Today in Jeremiah, we hear fear and anxiety, but as Jeremiah continues, we hear of reassurance and love that God was with him, walking with him. In the gospel, we got to kind of back up just a little bit, because it starts with fear no one. And what is he telling the disciples? Fear no one. Well, if you back up a little bit, he's getting ready to send them to the wolves. He's sending them out two by two. And this is towards the end of his instruction. So he's telling them not to fear preaching the good news. Not to fear being who they are in Christ. Fear no one. He goes on to mention a a sparrow. And that's pretty significant in that day and time because what a sparrow meant to them was it was the cheapest life you could buy for sacrifice in the temple. And it's bought for a small coin. But even that sparrow does not fall to the ground without God knowing it. Now, 
God's got a lot of big problems to deal with. We've had a lot of problems in our world this year. The, the, the pandemic, civil unrest, just a lot of things going on. And it's easy to think that with all those big things, maybe God doesn't have time to hear about our little problems. But he knows every hair on your head. So the message starts off about fear. But I think the real message for us today is don't be afraid to live your life. Don't be afraid to live your life as an example of God's love and Christ's love. But also, he's got your back. We're going to get through this. You're worth a lot more than a sparrow. God loves you, and he's with us through all of this turmoil. And yeah, there's big problems out there. But he's interested in every one of our little problems. He wants to hear them. And if you take his hand, he'll sweep you up in his arms, and no matter what it is, he's right there with us, and he'll weep with us. So, I think it's a great message of encouragement. We're still working through this pandemic thing, and boy, is it getting old. <laughs> but don't lose faith and know that he is there with us every step of the way. And it's just incredible that the God of the universe counts every hair on our head and knows every little intimate thing about us. And please, don't think his problems are bigger than us. That we shouldn't share our burdens with God. It's not going to take away from anything else. He can handle it, trust me. So let God be there for you. And take that message of reassurance to heart as we continue through these somewhat difficult times and, un and the unknown of when this may end, when things may change. And just like the little boy, he'll be there for us and hold us in his arms. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified at a point of spirit. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on that day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen.
Holding the treasure of the gospel, let us bring our prayers to God, who always resents with an open heart. Our response is, Lord in faith, hear us. For the church, that we may live in the confident assurance of God's abiding concern and providential care for us, we pray, Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith, hear us. us. For the grace of freedom, that God will free our hearts from fear and anxiety, so that we may respond with love and concern in whatever God asks of us, we pray, Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith, hear us. us. For a spirit of reverence, that our goals for life may be based on the awareness that all life is a gift from God and shall lead us towards an ever-deepening relationship with God, we pray, Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith hear, us. hear us. For all fathers and those who've shown us a father's love, that God will grant them good health, guide them in being good examples, and help them to be a source of encouragement to their children, we pray, Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith, hear us. For all who've experienced or live under the threat of violence, whether from neighborhood turmoil, organized crime, terror with terrorism, or armed conflict, that they will know God's strengthening presence and redeeming love, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith, hear us. For all who are ill, particularly those with COVID-19, that God will restore them to health and guide researchers in finding effective treatments and developing a vaccine, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith hear, us. hear us. For all who've served in the military, that God will guide and protect them from harm and bring them safely home to family and friends, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith hear, hear us. us. For all the sick of our parish and families, especially Carrie Herman, Ed Fisher, Kathy O'Connell, Atwood, Yvonne Campbell, Aretta Carroll. May they be touched by the gentle healing hand of Jesus, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith, hear us. For the, all those who've died, especially Betty Canahan, Stanley Wysocki, Terry Roberts, and Stanley Roman. May, be, may they be welcomed into the everlasting joy of heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith hear, us. hear us. For Joseph Pipola, who's being remembered in this Mass in a special way, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in faith, faith hear, hear us. us. For those intentions and prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, in faith, hear us. O loving God, your Son Jesus starts ready to accompany us on our journey of faith. Hear these prayers and graciously grant them according to your will. For we ask them through Christ our Lord.
pray now, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands, for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consideration and praise, and grant that, cleansed by its action, we make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without aid we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was added, he took the cherries, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Joseph, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph as spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word.
shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far from safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak your words in foreign lands, and all will understand. You shall see. Blessed are your poor, for the kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are you that weep and mourn, for one day you shall laugh. And if wicked tongues insult and hate you, Fathers, please stand up. All fathers. <laughs> all fathers. <laughs> calling all fathers. Please stand up. Yeah. yeah, today we have a, a special blessing for all fathers, and therefore. The reason we are saying we start up, uh, all fathers. <laughs> Heavenly Father, you entrusted your son Jesus, the child of Mary, to the care of Joseph and other father. Bless all fathers 
as they care for their families. Give them strength and wisdom, tenderness and patience. Support them in the work they have to do, protecting those who look to them as we look to you for love and salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now after the fathers, maybe we can sit down. changes to the weekend masses. And now do we have any visitors? Any visitors, please stand up. And anyone celebrating their birthday today? Birthdays, please stand. And anyone celebrating an anniversary, please stand. I think that's it. Will I do something? Again, happy Father's Day. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And you have a blessed evening, and we stay safe.
need to put that up there until I, they finish the rose ceremony? What, They're doing a rose. Here? No, you could take that back. But just put this under here. Yeah, and I want, is there only one of these? Right. I asked Chiquita to pray for my sister-in-law today, and she's got the spelling. And Mary put my mother's name down on the prayer of the sick. I have almost died when I heard it. It's the wrong name? Yeah. Okay. It's what is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be Susan Conklin. Conklin? So, yeah, and take off Arietta Carroll. That's my mom. Okay. And Chiquita even got the spelling of my sister-in-law's name. So, okay. I think there's a pen here. I just wanted to change that before tomorrow. I, I think it's know. a pencil, but yeah, you can. No, well, it's the only copy that's red. Father Bernard has one, but it's not red. Good. Okay. I'll put it right back here, right? Back
told me it's the second the prayer or something. It's on the ammo and it's set to your page. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to uh, start the uh, ceremony here, so if everybody could take a seat. Safely, of course. This will be the Knights of Columbus Silver Rose Prayer Service. And uh, if you could sit uh, safely uh, in your particular areas there that's designated one, two, or three. And before you leave, I'll make sure you see Roger Packard at the back door there, uh, and he has your name, because uh, obviously we can't, we're not supposed to have contact, and uh, he'll write everybody's name down. And uh, let us begin. but we also reaffirm our dedication to the sanctity of human life. It is to be blessed, Mother, that we turn in prayer as we work to aid the culture of death that grips our society as we think in terms of one life, one rose, it is most appropriate that we turn to our Lady of Guadalupe who made known her will through Diego and the miracle of the roses. O oh God, come to my assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As Catholics, we are called to be a people of life and a people for life. The challenge before us is to teach the world that the life of each human being, unique and unrepeatable, begins at the moment of conception and ends by natural death. To accomplish this, we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, through whom the Word was made flesh. 
through Mary, under her title of Our Lady of Guadalupe, patroness of the Americas, we seek the grace and strength to bear witness to the reality that every human life is sacred, a gift from God. We take this opportunity to commend ourselves to our mother, seeking the strength to proclaim the gospel of life, in season and out of season, until respect for the sanctity of human life is restored throughout the world. And now we have the act of consecration. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living, to you do we entrust the cause of life. Look Look down, down, O mother, mother, upon upon the vast numbers numbers of babies not allowed to be born, born, of the poor poor whose lives are made difficult, difficult, of of men men and women women who are victims of brutal violence, violence, of the elderly and the sick killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives, and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of good will the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother immaculate. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seed of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of ivory. Pray for us. House of gold. Pray for us. Ark of the covenant. Pray for us. Gate of heaven. Pray for us. Morning star. Pray for us. Health of the sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
I'd like to thank you all for staying. It was a brief ceremony, but it was very meaningful. Due to the circumstances, this is what we had to do. We shortened it. But thank you very much for attending. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Amen. Thanks be to God. Ladies and gentlemen, before you leave, uh, we're going to bring the silver rose down here, and this travels all throughout the country to different councils, and it's, uh, a comp it's, it's accompanied through the, uh, mo our motorcycle division of the Knights of Columbus, and they take this from one council to the next council. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Knights on bikes. Uh, so, Terry, if you uh, could take that, and uh, we'll take it to the exit, and if everybody wants to exit out there, uh, can take a look at it. And that concludes the ceremony. Don't leave yet. Let him get ahead of you so he can take a look at it. We're not allowed to touch it either without gloves on, so...